it's incredibly gratifying on the rare occasion where you actually do catch somebody saying and doing something. And for Republicans and, and other right wingers, conservatives who may not identify with the party, but are certainly right wingers, one of the things that we rarely get the smoking gun for is racism. You know what I mean? Like, like again, like, yeah, lots of racist stuff happens, but usually when it comes to Republicans, the racism comes uh, as uh, a dog whistle. Uh, usually when conservatives get caught being racist, they use a trope. They use a dog whistle. They use a an idea that connects to longstanding white supremacist or racist anti-black ideas about us. But you don't usually catch them actually just saying the N-word. And if you do, it's in private and it's like a hundred years ago, or it's blackface at the college Halloween party. You know, it's something that where, where they have a kind of either plausible deniability or a reasonable defense. But not today. Rich Lowry. Rich Lowry, who is the editor-in-chief of National Review, a right-wing conservative news outlet. Uh, he's also someone who I worked with at CNN for years. Uh, I always kind of thought was a little racist. Rich, <laughs> Rich goes on TV to talk about Haitian migrants, which in and of itself is a racist conversation, trying to convince people somehow that Stories about Haitians eating pets and animals, which are not true, are true, or that even, or, or, or even that the story itself isn't racist. Well, in an effort to unpack all of this, Rich Lowry goes on Megyn Kelly's platform. Y'all know Megyn Kelly; she is a right-wing commentator, former news anchor for NBC and Fox News, where she and I both worked as colleagues. Um, she and Rich started talking, and something. Interesting happened. It seemed like he dropped an in bomb. Check this out. I think it was in, in that interview where Dana Bash says, you know, the police have gone through 11 months of recordings of calls and they've only found two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian migr uh, migrants taking geese from ponds. Only two calls. And I think one lesson in this whole story, people don't care about geese. Uh, people really hate geese. You know, they, they, all things considered, yeah. I think people are Haitian migrants about geese? to come and take. Why are we still talking about geese? The man just said Haitian Nick migrants. I'm going to play it for you again. Not the whole thing. I just, just, again, listen to this man. Geese from ponds. Only two calls. And I think one lesson in this whole story, people don't care about geese. People really hate geese. You know, they, they, all things considered, yeah. I think people would prefer Haitian <laughs> migrants to come and take the geese. I'm sorry. Complain about Haitian nigger, uh, migrants taking geese from ponds found oh two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian nigger, uh, migrants taking geese. Haitian nigger, migrant. Okay, I'm a reasonable person. Um, I remember a few weeks ago on Fox News, Brian Kilmeade said a college sorority, and people thought he said colored sorority. I listened to it myself. It sounded like color. It sounded like college. It didn't sound like color to me. I didn't go out and defend them, but I didn't pile on and criticize them. So I, I can't, in good faith and good conscience, criticize somebody for something they didn't do. I think it cheapens all of our arguments. It's just on principle. So I'm willing to give people the benefit of the doubt. I, I, I sat there for a while and said, what word was he trying to say? What word sounds like Nick? Nick what N word could he have been using? I said, maybe he just speaks fast and he was saying migrant. Like he was trying to say mig, as in migrant. Uh, like he's reading from a prompter. I don't know. I tried to listen to it. Listen to it again, y'all. Tell me what y'all think. Again, what else could he have been trying to say? Calls, and they've only found two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian nigger, uh, migrants. So then I said, well, maybe it's me. Maybe it's me. Let's listen to it in slow motion. That way we don't have to uh, guess you know, whether it was an N or an M or whether his mouth was moving in a way that was hard to catch because of our slow Negro ears. So I, this is this is the audio slowed down to 30 percent.
So you can see he's not trying to use the make the M sound. So it's like saying migrants. Um, looks a lot like nigger to me. I don't know. Drop your comments in there. Uh, um, let me know what you're thinking. Uh, drop it in the comment. Well, is he saying something other than nigger to me? Is he saying something other than nigger to you? And again, Rich Lowry is a prominent commentator. He is a prominent uh, right wing voice. But here's the thing. Because look, people are gonna call people the N word if they're racist. Why did Megyn Kelly not say, hey, what did you mean to say? Somebody said, turn on closed caption. When you slow it down and put on closed caption or use AI to capture closed caption, it, it says niggers. Um, it's not, it, 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 it's not, it's not like a, a mystery with with the AI or the or the closed captioning thought. Somebody said I'm going to say he was reading too fast. What was he reading, brother? He's not a he's not a news anchor. There was no news. There's no teleprompter. He was making casual conversation. I don't get it. I, I I'm not buying it. I don't know what he's. I don't know what's happening. But again, it was you don't. Act, I have never accidentally said a racial slur. Except maybe the N word, where I might be like, "Yeah, man, niggas, I mean, brothers, da, 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 right?" Because I say the N word privately, so that's the only way it slips out. I don't, I don't slip and say racial slurs about anybody else because I don't say racial slurs about people in public or in private. So they don't happen in public because they don't happen in private. But again, the question is, why did no? He, he, he didn't say, oops, sorry, that came out wrong. He meant to say this. He could have corrected himself. Megyn Kelly could say, hey, uh, what did you mean to say? Because Megyn Kelly, I don't believe, uh, supports the use of the N-word. So why wouldn't she just say, yo? In fact, I know Megyn Kelly doesn't support the use of the N-word. So why would you do that? Why wouldn't you say something, Megyn Kelly? Because this is baffling to me. But again, it's not, it's apropos for the conversation. 